Isaiah. Isaiah 23 and 6. Isaiah. Yes. Oh, 26. Okay. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on me, because he trusts in me. God is going to keep you in perfect peace. Yes. If you keep your mind staying on you. And I found, I realized something. Every wall and I realized something. <laughs> for, for a stretch of time there, when I was praying, I really wasn't praying. I was complaining. Seriously, there's nobody else in this room. It's just me and you. Me, me and you and Tam Tam, I call it Tam Tam. Just me and Tam Tam. I wasn't complaining. I was complaining. Come on. I was complaining to God. And when you complain to God, you are not complaining. You are complaining. Nobody likes a complainer. Nobody likes a complainer. I don't like complainers. Something is wrong with everything. <laughs> well, that's her purse. If you want to have her purse, why can't she have her purse like that? Nobody <laughs> likes to complain. And I found myself a lesson praying. I was complaining to God. And that's. And God wasn't moving in my behalf because I was complaining to him. And when I figured out, I was, I was praying there. And I'm like, I'm not praying. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not praying. I'm complaining. So I had to change the way I did it in order to get. God will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Because my mind wasn't on God, my mind was on my situation, and I was complaining about my situation. But when I decided. To put my mind on God, then the peace of God came in. Yeah. I'm okay. Because my latter days are going to be greater than my former days. Thank you, Jesus. My latter days, I need you to get this in your spirit, are going to be greater than my former days. What God is getting ready to do in the future yes. in comparison to what happened in the past. Give me the other. Ephesians 2 and 14. Yes, For he is our peace who has made both his one and has broken down the middle wall of the church. Stop it, stop it. When you come to God, there is no longer a there is no middle wall separating you from Him. We don't have to go into a little booth <laughs> and confess to a priest <laughs> what He did. We can therefore go both into the throne of grace <laughs> and talk to Him directly. When the writer is referring to there is no middle wall, he's talking about in the, in, the, in, the, in the court in the court in the court area that separated the Gentiles from the Jews. The Jews had access to all the stuff, but there was a wall there that kept the Gentiles look at this separated from gaining access to where the Jews go. The middle wall. God said, I have taken down the middle wall. So there is no more separation between us. You can walk over where the wall was and come in and get what you need to get. If there's peace that you need, I will give you peace. If there's that you need, I will give you a healing. Whatever blessing that you need, I will give it to you because I am the Lord God God and above me there is no other. So what do you say? I haven't had peace. 
for a long time to open my head. You don't understand. It ain't up to me to understand anything. Sometimes I don't understand myself. But God understands. And God knows. You've been fighting yourself day in and day out. Sometimes your brain will not shut off. And you just want a little bit of peace. But your brain will not shut off. Because the adversary has come in. And he has tried to take control of your mind. He's tried to take control of your heart. He's tried to take control of your spirit. He's tried to take control of everything about you and your very existence. The devil has tried to tear you down. He's tried to make you feel less. He's tried to hurt you. He's tried to do all these things. But God said, I got peace for you. Right here. There's no more middle wall. There's no more separation between us. The court isn't there. You can flow free, but all you gotta do is come to me. All you gotta do is make up your mind and say, Lord, I need some piss today. Because I'm tired of hurting inside. Hallelujah. I'm tired of feeling the way I feel. I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. Lord, I just need some peace. I just want some peace. I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't want to feel the way I feel anymore. I don't know why I'm angry. I don't know why I'm upset. I don't know why. But God said I will give you peace. If you get your mind on me, isn't it, isn't it a funny thing for people that we are drawn to the negative. We feed off the negative. If somebody comes with something positive, we tear that down. Because we want to look at the negative. But God said, I got some peace for you. I don't want you to worry about the negativity anymore. I come to give you some peace. Because there's turmoil in your spirit. There's turmoil, there is hurt, there is confusion in your spirit. The scripture says, whosoever will let him come. So I said, come right now. And I just want you to talk to Jesus. All you have to do is talk to him. All you got to do is talk to I'm not going to drag it out. They're they, they going to get out of here early today. You ain't got to worry about who's going to come up first. It's between you and God. It's between you and God. This young lady right here. This young lady right here. Some years ago, she wouldn't talk to me. I say hi to her. She barely say hi back. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah. <laughs> and I told her, I said, I'm going to make you like me. I'm going to make you like me. And I'll tell you what, now, she come up to me. Hi, give me a hug. I told her. It's going to make her like me. Amen. One way or another, she is going to like me. Yeah. And she does that. At least she has. Yeah. <laughs> and she's not one to fake. <laughs> you want her this, you want her this, and that's just it. But this is this my little buddy now. <laughs> Oh my 